be done by maybe 10, 11 o'clock. We'll yeah. Out the grass, we'll <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what are I going to do the rest of the time? I mean, these guys are like three weeks in, right? <laughs> My guys are tired. Your guys are tired. Well, we're half days. They said free beer, hot tubs, volleyball. That's true. We so. got all this other stuff to do. I don't want to hog up all our time with building. <laughs> we're just going to tear it out anyway. Right? <laughs> we're about clean lines and minimalism. Lines. Greg wanted me to do something with the blue stone, so we'll do it with limestone the first day. We'll do it with sandstone the second day. We'll do it with blue stone. And then that way you guys will have some cool pictures like you can sell that fountain and So that seriously, that's what you're doing? No. <laughs> Hey, good morning, Pond people. It's Brian. I'm excited because it's Monday morning, which means a new artist of the year is here. John Adams, his son Tristan, the rest of his crew, who are going to meet here in a second. And it's breakfast time. We don't even have to work. Just get to say hi to these guys and get to meet all of them, huh? Hi. Yay! Well, that was pretty good for like not practicing. That's all good. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the sandbox, buddy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's get her done. Are you excited? Yeah, of I course. Missed, so. I missed last week with Alan and you saw what he did. And for me, Alan built a flower garden show display. Every square inch for something back here, right? And I could only tell from the pictures. We have a whole other load of rock now, so we can even go more. I'll tell you this. <laughs> you have something that the other two artists don't have. You have a fresh load of hand-picked weathered limestone. Right? Giant oh. pieces. Right? You get those if you want them. We also have a fresh load of beautiful cedar driftwood that we brought from the Smoky Mountains. There we go. we knew no one else would have those. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so we'll get some paint. We'll get this marked out so you kind of break up in teams. The challenging thing with this backyard is like a lot of backyards. We can't landlock ourselves. Yeah. Right? So like this obviously yeah. has to get done first. So we'll hog this out today, get our aqua blocks in and everything else for our neck and a veg. All the soil can go over there to create a berm, which I think I love because then from the house that berm's gonna hide your fountain. So we won't discover your fountain until you've gotten past some of the yeah. multiple bridges and stepping stones. Alright, let's get some paint. Do it. Pretty cool, just spent, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes with John. And I think what I love about all of the artists of the year is they have a rough idea what they want to do in their head, but not until they've gotten to our backyard do they really, really start adapting their vision to the space. And all these guys are so good at just working on the fly. In fact, John um, said something to me. He's like, listen, I just want to make sure I design something that is replicatable for the average consumer. And so I think the design he came up with, and not I think, I know the design he came up with is gonna be truly spectacular and this is why the John Adams from Modern Design and his crew won Artist of the Year for 2013. Here's Johnny and here's what he's come up with. Hey John. What's up brother? How's it going? Welcome. Good. I love the design. You want to just kind of take us through what you were thinking? Well I'm sitting here and I'm like on the porch right? I'm thinking about the windows. I'm thinking about the screen floor. Where you're gonna sit. What you're gonna look at. The vision from one side of the yard to the other and like keeping it real. You know, what would I do if it was a real backyard and not making it feel like we're doing another home show, you know? That's really what I'm at. Like, the design to, from here on the porch to be able to see across nice, smooth, clean lines to the other side where you're gonna be in the shed. And off the side of here, I love to do a negative edge. It just keeps the water so pristine and how we can integrate the negative edge with some stepping stones to create a natural walkway to traverse to the other side of the landscape. And also to create an area with cascades under the window over here where we're actually going to be able to create that moving light effect on the side. That's house. awesome. That's so important. I'm less worried about how big the pond is and more interested in the clean edges and nice curvature around the outside to give it a lot of shape. The waterfall's coming in from over here. Again, not a super high flow. I don't want it to be Niagara Falls. I want it to feel like the Smoky Mountains and that's really the thing. That's why we bring our driftwood with us. We want to have lots of small falls, like low flows that look natural, lots of moss. This thing is awesome. I don't know how long it's going to take him to excavate with this thing, but we should have came last week. I can't wait to I get an arm machine and I just go. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's a decent sized pond. I'd put it at 16 by 18 or something like that. Yep. Some great stepping stones coming off. So instantly coming off the deck, we're gonna have some large stepping stones with water ripping in between, kind of coming this way. And then over here where April's at, more of the negative edge area. Yes, absolutely. And this is where we're hoping to drop that down to get views from inside the house. So now we get a waterfall visible from inside the house. And if we drop our reservoir down 12, 18 inches, then we instantly get a 12 to 18 inch fall anyways. Yeah, we're gonna have a two foot high waterfall at least right here. This nice. Will not change the elevation very much. Nice. This is gonna end up being some sort of a seating area. We're gonna lose the straight line. Who knows what we'll do. Maybe the fire feature is gonna go in over here. There's gonna be a little more retention in this area. And that's gonna kind of all be planted and block off the view of what you're gonna see when you walk through here. Well, and let's not, oh, you know, yeah, I think you've got well, something well, like well. you really wanna <laughs> share. You've been thinking about doing something for a couple years with something you brought all the way from your hometown and so let's wait to see what that's gonna be but something pretty cool is gonna happen back over in here yeah what he awesome. said <laughs> i guess we'll and you brought some equipment yeah so we'll uh yeah, yeah. we were overloaded on the way yeah we, uh, <laughs> we shared that's off awesome. a pin we're waiting on some parts <laughs> but uh, we'll get to digging here real soon all right we got a game plan let's exciting all right here we go needs to move this pole for some reason or another. Not sure exactly what he's got going on, but if we remove that pole, structurally, that one's kind of important. So that one's gonna come out, and then we're looking to suspend the pergola from the ceiling and get it all tied off. So we got these guys working on that. Everybody else is still over here in the corner. We're kind of working at a slower speed today. Not because anybody's lazy, but because of the design. We've got this corner that's pretty elaborate over in here, and we can't work on anything else in this space until this gets finished. So once this gets finished, we can kind of come back in here, we can start digging, start hauling dirt out, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Slow start to day one. It's just after lunchtime. I think we'll still effortlessly get this all buttoned up get this dug out in here get a waterfall built here and get this whole pond finished dug out today then hopefully rocked in tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> 